My name is Brian Pomar. I'm Vice Chairman of the Board for Centennial Bank of Lubbock, Texas. Today we're about $720 million in assets and we're spread across a good distance from the Panhandle of Texas into the Texas Hill Country, having around 14 locations today. We have utilized uh, the Federal Home Loan Bank as our access to the capital markets and um, it's one of the few ways that a, a bank has to access that. The ease of utilizing the Federal Home Loan Bank capital market type products is, is so much easier than trying to go into repurchases. Centennial Bank uses the FHLB of Dallas's liquidity factor for a couple of ways, but our primary use is funding seasonality of our ag-based credits. Um, Different than some banks, we try not to maintain a whole lot of uh, what we deem to be onboard liquidity of Fed funds sold. We tend to borrow our liquidity on a day-to-day -day basis as needed. Um, we utilize what would normally be 10% liquidity or some $70 million uh, that a lot of banks would, would keep at our size. And we buy three to four year uh, mortgage-backed security products borrow the, the uh, needed liquidity in just-in-time uh, funding and harvest about 200, 225 basis points on those funds. So in a bank our size, that, that's worth about a million and a half a year in additional earnings that we're able to uh, extract uh, from the access to capital markets with FHLB. When we have a customer that wants a fixed term out over, say, a 15-year period of time, we may not want to take that interest rate risk. If we have a 15-year fixed rate product that we are funding, we fund 50% of that and at a half of the term, say, seven or eight year takedown, because it's rare that those loans go all the way to 15 years. Customers are changing out facilities, they're wanting to increase, they're wanting to expand where we're having to do something with those credits. So we found that, that shortening that term, which increases our spread and except maybe a little more risk on the interest rate is worked out every time we've done it. 